Jeez, my neck's really sore from working at home. Welcome back everyone. Today I want to show you some simple exercises and stretches to give you some pain relief and also improve your posture in the long run, especially if you had to move all your stuff from your office back home so you can work at home due to the recent events from the coronavirus pandemic, also known as COVID-19. If you're like me and you spend a lot of time hunching over at a desk working, these exercises and stretches will definitely help you, give you some pain relief, prevent you from pain in the future, and also improve your posture in the future as well. I hope they help you as much as they helped me. Neck rolls. This is one of the easiest mobilization exercises you can do. Just move away from your desk and relax your shoulders. Start off with your head bent in front and then roll your head backwards into extension and then return to the initial position. This will mobilize your neck and stimulate the receptors in your neck to fire and get the blood flowing back into your neck again. Rehydrating your intervertebral disc, which is the disc between your vertebrae and your spine. Sometimes you might hear some cracks and pops and it's perfectly normal and safe. However, if you're trying to force large cracks and pops in the neck, this is like replicating a whiplash injury in your neck. And that's quite dangerous and possibly cause you some injury or even pain. Do about 20 rolls on one side and then swap and then roll to the opposite side. Do this for three to four sets. A lot of athletes and Olympians do neck rolls to prevent themselves from injury and also loosen up the neck and shoulders so they can perform better in their sport and craft. So why not try it for ourselves? Shoulder rolls. When we sit at a desk, our natural position is to have our shoulders sitting forward. This will promote us to have rounded shoulders and even creating a hump in our neck or our mid back. And this will cause pain in the neck or even the lower back. So if you wanna do some shoulder rolls, we're gonna start off by pulling our shoulders up and back and then down, squeezing our mid back muscles. These are our rhomboids, our mid traps and our lower traps. These muscles are crucial to promote upright posture and fight against the hours of us sitting with rounded shoulders in front of a desk. Just relax and allow our shoulders to come forward and repeat this 20 times. Every time you do this exercise, I want you to have relaxed shoulders and don't over activate those traps when you pull your shoulders up and back down. I want you to emphasize more on contracting the rhomboids, mid traps and lower traps. After all, these are the main muscles that help you have better posture. Repeat this motion 20 times and do it three to four sets. Once you rolled your shoulders backwards, I now want you to roll your shoulders forward. However, this motion may feel like you're rolling your shoulders forward, I want you to focus on the phase where you're pulling your shoulders back. So you may start with your shoulder blades squeezed at the bottom, then to the middle, and then back up again. This part is more important than actually pulling your shoulders forward. Once again, you're working on the lower traps, the mid traps, and the rhomboids. This may look like you're pulling your shoulder blades forward, but really it's just the reverse contraction of the mid back muscles of the shoulder blades. Do about 20 rolls and do this three to four sets. Shoulder and chest openers. Just place your hands on the desk where you're working on and then move your body or chair away from the desk so that your arms extend back into a straight arm position. Try to get your arms back as much as possible, increasing the angle of your arm and body. This will stretch out your biceps, the front of your shoulders, also known as the anterior delts, and also your chest muscles, also known as the pec major and pec minor. When you sit at a desk for long periods of time, these muscles tend to be tight and stiff, causing pain and postural strain. Hold this stretch for 30 seconds for four to five sets. A common mistake people do is they force themselves into such an extreme stretch that they're shaking because it hurts so much. I just want you to push yourself into a position where you just feel the stretch and be able to breathe nice and slow and controlled. This will create a much more effective stretch. Spine twists. This is a stretch where you may hear some cracks and pops. However, I want you to focus on the stretch in the lower back more than actually creating the pops and cracks in your back. I want you to move away from your desk, create some room so you can twist back and grab your back of the chair or your thighs like what I'm doing. Hold this stretch for about five long and controlled breaths and then alternate to the other side. Do three sets on each side. It is perfectly normal if you hear some pops and cracks, but I don't want you to force these cracks as it can loosen up areas where you don't want to loosen and leave the stiff areas to be stiff. This will promote injury in the future or if you really force yourself to create a pop, you can actually injure yourself. So I highly recommend don't try to create a pop or crack in your back and just enjoy this stretch instead. Recently, there was a paper published by the American Journal of Preventive Medicine. They found that women who sat for long periods of time without fidgeting had an increased risk of death. 
But what was more surprising by the researchers was they could not find the difference between the mortality rate between women who were fidgeters at the desk and ones that reported that they were very physically active outside of work. Therefore, I really recommend doing some stretches and getting up to move every hour or so. This is going to help improve your posture and help you live a much more healthier lifestyle. Hamstring stretch. Stand up and place your heel on the chair that you're sitting on and then slump your body over facing your foot with your leg straight and your knee extended. This will create a stretch in the back of the thigh and your lower back. The hamstring tends to be shortened when you're sitting for long periods of time with bent knees. So stretching this muscle will help with lower back pain and interior pelvic tilt. So if you don't feel the stretch in this position, what you can do is point your toes backwards towards your face in dorsiflexion. This will pull the attachments of your heel to lengthen the muscles behind your leg, like the hamstrings. This stretch and position also replicates a sciatic nerve orthopedic test. This orthopedic test is commonly used by doctors and chiropractors. Hold this stretch for about 30 seconds and do them four to five sets. Dynamic straight arm crossovers. Stand up and make sure you have enough room. And with your arms straight, cross your arms in front of you and then pull your arms back behind your head, above your head in a fluid manner. When your arms are pulled behind your head, I want your thumbs to be pointing backwards. This may look like you're trying to hitchhike with both arms. By pointing your thumb backwards, this will activate the lower traps a lot more and help improve your posture. Every time you pull your arms back, I want you to consciously squeeze the mid back muscles, which are the rhomboids and the mid traps, and pulling your shoulder blades down. Do this for 20 repetitions and three to four sets. This is one of my favorite movements because it's like a light exercise. The movement allows the body to move and activate the muscles that were dormant while sitting for long periods of time, standing, or having poor posture. Not only that this is a mobility exercise, but it also stretches your chest and the front of your shoulders a little bit as well. I do this exercise as a warm up before I work out at the gym and lift weights, just to wake up my postural muscles and help me stand upright as well. Sometimes when you do this exercise, you might hear some pops and cracks, but as long as it doesn't cause any pain, you're not in danger. But with that being said, please don't force yourself to have some pops and cracks as it can cause you pain and it's dangerous. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Now, if you still have neck pain and poor posture in the neck, I really recommend you check out my neck curve video. That video will definitely help improve your posture and also prevent you from getting any pain in the future. Now, if you spend a lot of time sitting at a desk, there could be a chance that you have stiff hips and that could be causing you low back pain. So I highly recommend you check out my hip mobility video. These two videos will definitely help improve your posture and prevent you from any pain from sitting at a desk hunched over for long periods of time. Once again, I want you to join my VIP Facebook group. That way we can build a community and help each other out. Another thing is I might be opening an online consultation soon. So I'll put a link down in the description box below. And that way I can help you have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and program you to progressively get you better. Once again, support my channel, hit subscribe, comment below if you have any questions. Uh, see you guys in the next one.